Uh, the foot doesn't have much to it. We're just going to lightly define the landmarks. So if you were to have this at a certification, your trim work's pretty much done. You can only improve it. So you're not really going to take anything out of your sole. You would lower your outside just a little high on the outside. And then lightly clean up your wall. And then the, the middle ground is a seven, is what we say you shoot for. So if you're gonna take your lumps, you know, you just have to average a seven down the board to pass this test. So sitting here just spinning, you can sit and try to get nines everywhere and it's great. But if you draw a foot that you're not gonna be able to, just don't make a seven, a four. And if you're gonna have a four in something, know the uh, score sheet good enough that know what your strengths and weaknesses are. So when you're practicing every day, have that thing laminated on your box so you can sit there and learn what they're gonna score, the parts, the frog, the soul, the wall, and then that way you know if you're going to have a, if you're good at taking a four or something, then you can turn around and get a nine flat. You're going to get a flat, but you just have to balance down to a seven in order to move to the next stage. So that's what you want to practice, and you want to practice it in a timely manner. So have a, I don't even practice with a clock on the box, so you kind of got to learn to have the clock in your head. Um, in order to get the fish to take the test. What he was talking about is the knowing how to wear your hat, what you can do under the foot or under the hole. Same here, just not wish you were. That's the instructor I told the guys. So the same instructor test is not easy to do. So with.